So I kind of, I kind of played around with this other thing. I don't have this really um, <laughs> perfected yet, but I'll just show you what I'm doing. I was, uh, I had this idea to make a pair of hoops by twisting the fabric. So I'm gonna fold, fold the sides. Once again, folding all the sides, folding the sides. I think I'm gonna experiment with not folding the, the very ends, but we'll see. Okay, so now, once, now that I have this folded, I'm going to fold it in half, like this, and then I'm gonna put it in my, put it in my glue Get it all wet and stuck together. Fold it in half. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it. Twist twist it up. I'm just going to twist it all, all up. I need like a clothespin or something. I think I'll get a clothespin. Okay, so maybe. So yeah, maybe this will help me. Okay, I'm gonna keep twisting it and twisting it and twisting it and twisting it and twisting it till I twist it all the way to the end. Okay, so now once I get it twisted, now I'm going to wrap it around this uh, roll. Gonna wrap it around, all the way around. And I think my, my piece of fabric was about eight inches long. And this is about a one inch circle tube. So now I'm going to let this dry. And what I hope happens is what I did with their first set. But I'm trying to stick it to my tube because if it doesn't have a lot of glue on it, the ends will pop off and I, I need them to stay, stay wrapped. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, so we're, it's dry. Okay, so I'm going to cut it into two. I'm gonna cut it right here. Okay, so I have two little pieces now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about nine inches of wire going to cut it and I'm going to wrap it around to hold it together. So, I'm going to put a little loop at the beginning of it, just so it won't be a sharp end. And then I'm going to start to wrap it Gosh. OK. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap it really tight around the, the part where it's doubled. Try to double it. Wrapping it, pulling it tight, and wrapping it here. Now, I'm gonna, gonna start the wrap again. So I hope I have enough wire. This part that's sticking up, I'm gonna try to wrap that and hold that down. I may have to cut cut the part that's sticking up. And then I just go around the rest of the, <laughs> hoping that I have enough wire. I don't think I have enough wire. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, I don't have quite enough wire to go all the way around. So I'm gonna turn this, turn this edge under. And I think I'll get another piece of wire. I'm gonna pinch that in. And then I'm gonna cut another smaller piece so I can go back around, finish going around. Man, are these dull or what? Okay, turn the end under. And then I'm gonna start back here. And just finish wrapping the wire around. Okay, I just barely made it back. So now I'm going to turn this in under and then lay it down flat. Squeeze it in. Okay, so now to make sure I have my shape right, I put it back on here. Okay, so yeah. Oh, it's a little bit big. Oh no. Oh no, it's a little bit big. And I'm gonna cut this little piece. Okay, so let me do my other one. Get a more wire, get a longer piece of wire. So maybe get about 12 inches of wire. and then lay it down flat and squeeze it down. This is 20 gauge wire that I'm using. Now let's put it back and see how, okay, so it's probably about the same size. So then the little um, ear hooks is what I like to use and they'll work really good on these. So, I'm going to just grab it on the fabric 
and squeeze. And then I'll use my pliers to squeeze it. Okay, and one more. These are, I don't have to deal with the jump rings and all of that. I Okay.